Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create dripping blood text animation in After Effects and the best part is, we don't use any third-party plugins to create this. By the way, you can get this template from the link in the description below. Before moving forward, I'd like to inform you that now, you can watch our videos in different languages. So I recommend watching in your native language to understand better. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's create a new composition. Name this comb whatever you want. And for your reference, I am using full HD resolution at 24 frames. So first of all, I select a text tool and write our text and then I align it to the center of this comp. Also, I rotate this text slightly like this and then I pre-compose this layer, name it text holder. Then once again I create another new composition, name it as particle world. And then I create a new solid layer into this composition, name this solid as a drip and I set the width 40 pixels and the height should be 400 pixels. So we got this kind of shape in our composition. Then I double click on this solid shape. So we got another panel along this panel, this way we can see it better. Then I select the ellipse tool and create a circle over this solid layer like this. And then I press F to reveal the mask feather properties and increase the mask feather like this. And then I select the rectangle tool and I create this kind of rectangle shape. Once again, I change the mask feather like this. Now I can close this panel. Then I search effect called linear wipe. Add it to this solid layer and then I change the wipe angle to 180 degrees and then I change the transition completion to 50% and I set the feather to 380. So we got this smooth fading rectangle shape. Then I hide this layer for now and then I add another solid layer. Make sure click make comp size option and then I renamed this as particle world. Then I go to the effects and preset panel and search particle world effect and add it to this solid layer. Then go to the effects control panel and here I change the birth rate to 1 and then I change the longevity to 4. Then I open the producer options and change the position Y to negative 12 and then I change the X radius to 1 and Y radius to 0 0.2 although I change the Z radius to 0. After that, I open the physics options and here I change the velocity to 0, then I change the gravity to 0 0.1. And then I open particles options and here I change the particle type to texture square and then I change texture as our drip layer. Then I change source to effects and masks. Then we change birth size to 1.5 then I change end size to 2 and also I change max opacity to 100% and then I open the extras options. Here I change hold particle release to 10. So now we got this kind of drop shapes animation. But now as you can see the drop animation start from the middle of this competition and I want to animate it like loop so I press Y on the keyboard to switch anchor point tool and then I click and drag left side of my cursor to change the timing of this animation like this. And if I play the preview you can see it's animate like a loop video. After that I add a text holder composition into our timeline and then I search effect called minimax and add it to this text holder layer and then I change the channel to alpha and color. Also, I change direction to just vertical and then I change the radius to 500. After that, I search another effect called offset and add it to this layer and then I'm going to change this Y value to 1060 to get this look. Then I search a Gaussian blur effect and add it to this layer and change the blurriness to 20. Also, I change the mode to stencil alpha to get this kind of look. Now, particles visible only on text area. 
After that, I go back to the main composition. And here I add a particle world composition into our timeline. And then I search effect called CC Vector Blur and add it to our text holder layer. And then I change type to direction fading. Also, I change the amount to 500 to get this look. And after that, I turn off both layers visibility. And then I add a new solid layer. Name this as a drip composite. And then I search effect called calculation and add it to this layer. And then I place it above all the layers. After that, I change the second layer to text holder. Also, I change the second layer opacity to 100%. And then I change the blending mode to silhouette alpha. So that we got a transparent text. And then I search another effect called Gaussian Blur, add it to this layer and change the blurriness to 100%. Then once again, I add calculation effect. And I change the second layer to text holder, increase the opacity value to 100%. And then I change the blending mode to stencil alpha. So we got this kind of text look in our composition. After that, I add one more time calculation effect and then I change the second layer to text holder. And this time, I change the source to effects and mask. And then I change the opacity to 50% and uncheck the preserve transparency option. And then I add CC vector blur into this layer. And then I change type to direction fading. Also, I change amount to 75. Once again, I add calculation effect and change second layer to particles world. Then change the opacity to 50% and then uncheck the preserve transparency option. So now we got this kind of look. After that, I search a effect called CC threshold and add it to this layer. Then I change the channel to alpha also change threshold to 110. So now we got this kind of dripping style. Then I search another effect called displacement map and add it to this layer. Then I change the map to text holder. Then I change horizontal displacement to 10 and vertical displacement to minus 10. So it will enhance the look a little bit. After that, I turn off the drip composite layer and then I add a new solid layer, name this as body, and I set random color for now. And then I search calculation effect and add it to this layer. Then once again, change the second layer to text holder, then increase the opacity to 100%, and then change its blending mode to stencil alpha. Now add calculation effect once again, change second layer Change source to effects and masks and change opacity to 100%. And make sure you uncheck the preserve transparency option. After that, I add a effect called roughen edges into this layer and I change the fractal influence to 0.5 to smooth out the edges. And then I search the effect called fill and add it to this layer. And then I change the color to something dark red similar to blood. It's already looking nice, but we can enhance the look. So I select the body layer, go to the layer style, and add a satin effect. And then in the satin properties, I change the angle to 45 degrees to enhance the look. And then I add a new solid layer, name this as bevel, and I choose the black color for this. And then I solo this layer for now. And then I add calculation effect once again. Then I change the second layer to text holder, change opacity value to 50%. Then I change blending mode to copy. So we get this kind of look. Then once again, add a calculation effect. Change second layer to drip composite. Change source as effects and masks. And then change opacity to 100 and uncheck the preserve transparency option. Then I add Gaussian Blur effect and change the blurriness to 20.
After that, I search effect called Linear Wipe and add it to this layer. Then I change the wipe angle to 175 degrees. Then I change transition to 30%. And then I change feather to 300%. Then I go to the layer style and add a bevel and emboss to this layer. Then I open the bevel properties. And here I change the depth to 20. Then I change size to 20. Then I change angle to 90 degrees. Also, I change altitude to 85 degrees to get this kind of look. And then I change the highlight mode to linear dodge. Also, I change the opacity value to 20%. And then I unsolo this layer so you can see how it affects this text. Then I change this blending mode to screen. Also, I click this icon, which is a transparency toggle switch, to remove the additional shadow. And then I go to the layer style and add satin effect. You got this kind of bleeding look. Now, everything looks great. Only one thing is missing, which is a highlight. And now, we are going to add a highlight into this design. So I create a new adjustment layer. And then I rename this as CC Glass. Then I search CC Glass Effect and then add it to this layer. And then I open the surface options. I change the bump map to Drip Composite Layer. Then I changed Source to Effects and Mask. And then I change Property to Alpha. And then I change Softness to 12. And then change Height to 4. Then I change the Light Intensity to 500. Also, I change the light height to 75, and then I change the light direction to 200 degrees. Then I open the shedding options, and here I change the ambient value to 100, diffusion 0. And then I change the specular to 100, roughness to 0 0.002, and lastly, metal to 0. And now we got a beautiful highlights on this text. And if I play the previews, you can see how it looks. Now we can turn off the transparency so we can see these bleed animation on the white background. Also, if I go to the text holder composition and change the text, and then I go back to the main composition so text is updated, and rest of the animation exactly the same. So that's how you can create a dripping text blood animation in After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So that's it for now. See you in the next video.